So the long wait is over as the first developer preview for Android 11 is here and it brings with it some highly requested features plus a few more neat ones on top. We've done plenty of digging and we think these are the top new features in the first Android 11 developer build. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Long overdue when the feature has existed on other phones like the Galaxy line, the Android 11 developer preview 1 includes the ability to schedule when the dark theme kicks into action on your Pixel. You can now set it to activate at sunset based on your location or alternatively set your own schedule for when the dark mode starts and then dips your apps into a darkened theme. We're sure a lot of you out there will really love this feature. Finally, after we saw it appear last year, but not in a user facing capacity, we now have an early working native screen recorder in Android 11. It's activated by adding a notification shade toggle, which you then tap to start recording and you can stop recording via locking your phone or pressing the icon within your notification shade. At the moment, it doesn't seem to record audio though. There is no ability to change resolution, but we're sure these options will probably come in a later preview or beta build. Motion sense might feel like a gimmick at times, however, it's getting a useful update with a new gesture that lets you pause and play music by sort of air tapping above your display. In my experience when trying with YouTube Music, it works pretty much every time, unlike the swipe to change tracks gesture. Plus, you don't need to unlock your phone to use it, which makes it instantly more useful daily. This might be a godsend for frequent travelers, as now in Android 11, you will no longer disconnect from your Bluetooth headphones when you enable airplane mode. This inclusion makes a lot more sense when you consider that most smartphones out there, including the Pixel line, no longer include a headphone port. Great if you'd like to share to a certain selection of apps more frequently than others. In Android 11 Developer Preview 1, you've gained the ability to pin up to four apps within your share menu or share sheet for quick access. To take advantage of this feature, you'll just need to hold an app icon, which you can then pin for quick access. Another usability tweak as the notification shade has gained a new conversation section that highlights messaging apps first and foremost for easier access. It gives them extra prominence on your notification shade and a separate divider from your other notification groups. Although not a massive addition, it's a neat feature all the same. This addition is aimed directly at developers as you can now add a floating refresh rate measurement to your display if you want to track frame drops and your current frame rate. It's definitely reminiscent of the numerous gameplay recording apps on PC, but it is useful for devs that want to ensure their apps are high refresh rate display ready. So all in all, it wasn't the most extensive list, but those were some of our favorite user facing features to come with the first Android 11 preview build. If you found anything new yourself, then be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Of course, we'd also like to know what you think are the best new features that we've shared too. On top of that, we have a full rundown of all of the new features in Android 11 and all of the preparation for features upcoming. If you want to read that, you can find a link in the description. If you want to know how to install the Android 11 developer preview builds on your Pixel, then we have a handy guide showing you step by step. So be sure to check that out if you do want to install it on your smartphone. With all of that said though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, but until next time, I will speak to you later.